Hey guys, thanks for watching. Today I have my <clears throat> wax melt empties for the entire month of July. It's now August. And I, again, I did like the full month instead of the half, halfway through. Um, I don't intend to do that like long term. I do like doing them halfway through the month. I feel like it really cuts down how long my video is. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, just helps me feel like I'm more on track. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm like sick with allergies and I've been using the like nasal Afrin nasal spray. I'm using a generic so that I can breathe at night, but boy, does it like wreck your throat. Um, so I may have to pause to cough. And so if this video is choppy, that, that's why. Um, it's hard to talk for an extended period of time. Um, you don't realize that until you actually have to do it. Uh, you start coughing or get a tickle in your throat or something like that. So anyway, and then mixed with me using the Afrin, it just makes it a lot worse. Sorry if you see like shadow of my hand moving and talk with my hands. So, um, I do want to show you a couple candles that they'll really be in my Bath and Body Works empties, but I know that I, I, I've asked this before, do you guys want to see what I've been burning to? And you said yes. So I'm not going to go into like full detail about it, but I have been, uh, for the month of July going through the salted ocean air. I did finish it. This is a nice scent. I would maybe get another one to chop up. Um, so I can just smelt it here and there. Typically with a candle, if it's, especially if it's a seasonal one that I'm not like obsessed with, I would want to go through it and use it completely up for the season and be done with it. And the nice thing about chopping them up is you can use just a little bit at, at a time. This was fresh ocean mist, warm summer winds, beach musk, and essential oils. And so <clears throat> I, um, I don't know. If you'll be able to readily find that in stores, but yeah, anyway. And then I did go through this blueberry pie candle, which is not completely done because I did end up melting this. I can tell you it is a thousand percent better melting than burning. And my, this is for my warmer at the bottom. My, uh, what is that? Batch number is A6. It's the 9122. I think there were like better and worse uh, days for it to be poured in 2019, but the batch number itself is A6. And I did buy a bunch of these. I do have like two or three of the A6s that I, I, I kept one to definitely chop up, but I think I might exchange two like brand new ones for um, blueberry maple pancakes, which did come back so that I have an even number of blueberry pie versus blueberry maple pancakes because I love that scent. And, um, and I am torn though because I do really like this. This smells so good. This is Juicy Blueberries, Flaky Crust, Sugar Crystals, Essential Oils. <clears throat> I won't really talk about the burn or whatever, but I don't know if you can see on the bottom there. The This thing started like crazy and I had to constantly um, trim the wicks. But I didn't want to do it while I was um, like blow it out and then trim them when it was... I don't know. I didn't want to wait for the wax to harden in order to do it. So I would just trim it and let it fall into the wax pool, which is why it looks like there's like a thousand particles. I'm telling you, this thing's still like crazy. Anyway, I said I wasn't going to talk about the burn, but I still am. Um, this smells very similar to blueberry maple pancakes, but there's definitely more of that bakery note. Uh, it smells so good when you melt it on a warmer. It's just, yeah, unbelievable. Okay, <clears throat> so, and then I'll go into things that I used up. I have only a couple bags, but I did finish this pink key lime pie crust. I'm pretty sure that this was a loaf that I bought from the, like when I was first getting into uh, Sassy Girl Aroma, it was uh, 2017. Um, <clears throat> this was still, like gave me a good throw. Now I'm pretty sure I sent a piece of this to Angie from Kentucky Wax Girl. And I don't think when she reviewed it that she got a very good throw, but this threw very well for me. Um, I would think that it was like pink sugar, key lime, and pie crust. Actually, no, no, that makes sense. Because I was, I don't know what in my mind was making me forget that there's key lime. I think I was just thinking it was like pink sugar and pie crust. And I was thinking to myself as I'm melting it, it smells like there's another fruit in there and it's really good, but I couldn't figure out what it was. Well, duh, it's key lime, so that makes sense. I smell everything in it. The key lime is stronger than the pink sugar, definitely. Uh, so if you're not a big pink sugar fan, you might like this blend. This isn't one that I'm going to repurchase because 
I it's just not like I already got through an entire loaf of it and I don't think I need it like need to hoard another large version of it but would I recommend it yeah because it was strong and it smelled really good you could smell the pie crust in there um, and then that like fruitiness it just the pie crust was very light though it was just really good anyway and then there's beach bombshell which was from vintage chic sense I did get this in a D stash a random act of kindness I can't remember which it was an entire rose and I put the entire rose into my warmer because I had a different shape of this melted it and didn't get hardly anything so I thought I'm just gonna go big or go home now that entire rose in my like 20 or 24 it was my Glade hot plate warmer I can't remember if it's 20 or 24 watts that did very very well um I shouldn't say very very well it was in my bathroom and it did pretty well. I mean, it gave like an appropriate thrill for a bathroom. Was it like lingering outside of the bathroom? No, it, that's just a, a lighter scent. It's kind of like a summery sunscreen, um, but with like a little bit of a feminine vibe to it. Um, it smells really nice, but I don't know the scent notes. So there's that. <clears throat> okay. And then I have a couple of these little round, uh, round guys. This is uh, Kringle Wild Poppies. This was stronger the last time that I had it. I don't think I'm going to repurchase this again. Although I do really like this scent. I, I love that this is like... It smells like, like you're smelling flowers. It smells like poppies. It's just a very authentic, like, if you want to smell flowers type scent. And I don't know. I like that. I'm not, like, big into florals. Like, floral perfume, floral women fragrances florally you know blends but if you have like an authentic like this smells like this flower then yeah I'll probably like it um and I didn't used to be that way but that's the deal but yeah it wasn't very strong and I did melt a half of it at a time and then um because it wasn't very strong I put the other half in and I did do that in a uh Yankee hot plate warmer so I I don't really tell you guys what warmers I use unless something's not doing very well and then I want you to know like what warmer I use because people will ask well what warmer did you use well where did you have it placed everybody's throw is different so this is just my experience with it so take it with a grain of salt <clears throat> I do really like the scent though okay and then there's Goose Creek Tropical Daydream um, this is a really nice tropical fruity scent it smells really good it smells like a fruity drink um, there's definitely pineapple. It's like pineapple dominant. A pineapple tropical fruity drink. Um, but it just doesn't have a really strong throw. So I would not repurchase that even though I did really like the scent. I can get like really tropically fruity scents from Rose Girls, Sassy Girl, Roma, or Super Tarts that are I know are going to give me a better throw. So um, I won't repurchase that one. And then this white coral I did finish up. I think I talked about this in my last, uh, like, warm review. And this, to me, smells like Sensual Amber from Bath & Body Works. So if you like that scent <clears throat> and you want it in a wax form, you could buy it from Goose Creek. Um, are they exact dupes? I have no idea. I don't know that scent well enough. But as soon as I smelled this, I thought, like, on warm, I thought, oh, my gosh, Sensual Amber. How was I, like, how did I not know that when I first hauled it? So, I don't know. came to mind pretty quickly. Here comes Tiger. He's going to come into the video just to be annoying. He might cry. He might chew on cords. I have no idea. Let's see how cooperative he is. And then I have some clamshells that I used up. Two uh, Walmart ones and then two Sassy Girl Roma ones. There is Pacific Coast Highway. Now, this to me it smells like, it just kind of has this, like, saltwater taffy bubble gummy citrus scent there's there's a citrus like fruity scent in it this doesn't at all smell like what I would expect from like that Pacific Coast Highway I would think it's like fresh outdoorsy a little oceanic um, maritime no it smells very much like the saltwater taffy wax melt you can get I can't remember if it's from Sensationals or Better Homes and Gardens but I feel like there's that oil in it and it's mixed with some other things it's not something that I'm going to repurchase I didn't love it but I didn't hate it either and it did have a really good throw so if you like that scent on cold 
um, it does give a good performance. And then I have Sea Spray Linen, which the first time I tried using it, this wasn't very strong. Now toward the end, that, that was when I was using one cube at a time. Um, I used two cubes at a time and I got a much better throw. It was almost too intense, but I did really like the scent. It's like a, it's a fresh laundry scent, but there's something soft about it, which makes you think of like laundry soap and fabric softener. Um, and then obviously that scent of that laundry detergent or and or fabric softener happens to be like a oceanic, fresh, outdoorsy, beachy one. But not too much. It's more... Hmm, if it didn't say sea spray linen, I don't know that I would tell you, oh, this smells like a beach, if that makes sense. So if you're not a fan of beachy scents, then that would be okay for you. I'm actually going to, just for the sake of uh, space here, I'm going to just stack those. And I'm also going to just stack those candles there. Because I don't know how much space I'm going to take up here. <clears throat> okay, and then I've got two from Super Tarts. This is Sleepy Beauty. Finish this. This is Lavender Cream, Rose Jam, and Birthday Cake. I do have a band bag of this, and I may or may not have one more clamshell of this. If I do, I need to use that clamshell up because I'm sure it's older. And then I'll probably get through that band bag and maybe not buy this again. It's very similar. Well, I shouldn't say it's very similar. It's in the same like scent category as go to sleep and I do have a big pan of it so I don't need any scent like that anytime soon. I'm not a big rose jam fan. Um, I do like birthday cake. This scent some people say smells off to them. I can see what they smell that smells off because um, it's a weird combination of like the lavender cream, the cream, the rose jam, and the birthday cake but I do still think it smells good. I enjoy it. I have, like I said, I have a man bag of it and maybe another clam. So I will use that up. Um, but it does have a really good throw. It's strong. So if you're looking for a strong scent, that's, that's a good one. And then forks, this is also super strong. This is fresh air, oak, citrus, and golden amber. Now I feel like I melted this with something, but maybe I didn't. It was, it was so strong the first couple times I melted it, it was intense, but <clears throat> I think that because I let it sit for a while, it it's from October 2017, I think it toned down to where I didn't need to put it with something. I'm sorry that I don't even remember. It was toward the beginning of the month. Um, I do like this scent. It smells fresh. There's a little, you get like all those notes. You get a little bit of amber. It's so small that I don't know if anyone would really pick it out. So if you're not an amber fan, I don't think you sh this should deter you. But it does smell like the fresh air oak and citrus. And it's a little bit more masculine. It's a really nice scent. Am I going to repurchase it? Uh, probably not. Probably not. Um, I think my fresh scents, I tend to like more... Well, I was going to say are more oceanic, but that's not, that's not true because there are quite a few that I really like that are not. So anyway, <clears throat> that is all that I completely finished up. So I didn't do very well on empties, um, which is disappointing. But when you're burning candles, it takes up, you know, a good week or however long of melting or burning or, you know, home fragrance where you don't really feel like you're using stuff up but other things that I melted were like more summery scents that I was I was trying to go through my like fruity drawer and pick out things I haven't tried or haven't melted in a while to see if they have a good throw or if they're older and that type of thing so anyway uh, but I d really quickly I did melt some of this by the pool and I can't remember if I talked about this last time and I only melted one cube this time around or what but this is not very strong. Um, it will probably be just a bathroom scent. It's a very like, it's a very summery, pool reminiscent scent. I don't really know how to describe it. It smells exactly on warm what it does smell like on cold. So if you've smelled it in the store, uh, there's that. But it's just not super strong. So I don't think that I'm going to... Um, repurchase it. I'm going to actually just stick that right over there. 
And then <clears throat> I'll just get through that just because it doesn't have a super strong through. I'll get, I'll use it up for the summer season and then be done with it. If it comes out next summer, I might buy it again just because it is very summery and fun. You know, if, I, if I want a summer sense, but anyway, um, I have this chopped up Bath and Body Works candle. Now I did chop up some candles recently. I didn't do a video on it because it was just, it was going to take too long. Uh, but I did do a recent like loaf chopping video. I figured that I had enough candle chopping videos. Um, I might do one next time because I already do have like seven more candles to chop up uh, into wax melts. But anyway, when I was chopping them up, I made like a whole new bag of this uh, lavender vanilla. Well, I didn't realize I already had a candle chopped up in this scent, so I had two bags. So I figured I would stuff as many melts as I could into one bag and then triangle use the rest. So all month long I've been using these like triangle shaped pieces that I cut. Um, I've been using them as like my bedtime melt. If you can see. And so there's only one piece left in this bag. It'll be used soon. This is just a really nice like um, it's more herbal lavender uh, more traditional like lavender vanilla, but I love this scent. It's one of my favorite scents that Bath and Body Works has like, oh, for the aromatherapy line, I should say. Um, so I do really like that. That'll be gone soon. And then I have my other bag, obviously, that's fully stuffed. And that is very strong melted. <clears throat> if you want to chop up that candle, you'll have great success getting a thrill out of it. It's awesome. All right. Apricot Cafe from Vintage Chic Scents. This is Juicy Apricots and Fresh Picked Strawberries. I'm pretty sure this is from the last time that I ordered. This was like an egg shape, and I chopped it into three pieces, and I melted a third of it. I didn't like this, and I bought two of these eggs, so I'm going to de-stash one, and I might melt through the rest of this or, like, de-stash this with that. Um, I don't really want to bag it separately and, like, give it away as freebies or whatever. VCS is not cheap. Not that this would like be worth a ton of money. I don't even remember how much I paid for this egg, but I don't know what it was because, well, no, I do know what it was. It was the apricot scent. I didn't like the apricot scent. Um, to me, the apricot scent is like perfumey or something. Why can't I close this portion of it? Now it had a good, there we go. It had a good throw. Um, for vintage chic scents. It was like a medium. I did melt it in my bathroom and it came out of the bathroom and down the hall and whatever. But as I would like get near, <clears throat> I thought, I don't really like that scent that I have going on. And I kept reminding myself of what it was uh, because like you smell the apricot and you smell the fresh picked strawberries, but it smells like a apricot strawberry perfume or body care or something. Something about the apricot scent. It just doesn't smell right to me. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm sure other people really like it. I just don't. Maybe I don't like the fresh picked strawberries. That can't be it, though. I don't know. It has a good throw, that, so that's good. But I don't know if I'm going to, like, keep the rest of it and melt it. Or I feel like it makes more sense to, like, sell it or pass it on. So, anyway, there's that. Okay, from Rockets, this was a three-pack of these, like, flower things. And this scent is uh, Peppermint Marshmallow. And I did melt, I don't know, probably another half of this. I have this one piece left. This is so strong. I can cut this into fours and melt a quarter at a time. And it's older. Let me see if I can find the pour date. November 20th, 2016. Yeah. And this is still throwing really strong. Rockets does well for me. Um, they don't get talked about as much. I bought from Rockets in the beginning. She does have a lot of weird blends in um, her restocks aren't like enormously large and there's usually only like one or two things that I want from the restock. So I don't find myself ordering as much as I probably would if there was a lot that I wanted to get, but I do really like rockets. I can't remember if she has like a customs list or not. She might, but it's probably closed. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, uh, quickly I'll show you this Yankee candle floral candy. I melted some more of this. I can't remember how many cubes of this. I just grab one of these pieces. I do really like this and I have another one. I don't think I'm going to repurchase it in the future because the more I smell it, 
melted, the more it reminds me of a Viva La Juicy perfume or some girly fruity perfume. I don't know if it's like a Britney Spears perfume or... It smells like a perfume to me. Um, not that it's like super perfumey, but I just, I'm not really a, like a perfume melting person. So I don't know that I need like a ton of them, but I am enjoying it because it does smell really pretty again. Good scent for a bedroom. Um, just makes it smell like, or bathroom smells feminine and pretty and that's about it. And it has a good throw. Okay. So... That's just some, like, summery scents. Well, this isn't super summery, but this is a strawberry pound cake. I did chop up this candle. I've been melting a few pieces here and there um, just because I do have another one or two candles that I want to chop up, and I'm hoping to make, like, melt this as I go through and make room. This isn't super strong melted, but you can smell it melted. Um, it's not, like, really ridiculously light, but it's not lavender, vanilla, or a lot of the other candles that I chop up for sure but I had problems with this as a candle itself being light so um it's a really good scent yeah it smells really good but if I can use it and enjoy a little bit here and there and then chop up my other candle one of my other candles I think I have two that I saved and I exchanged all the rest because they just didn't burn well for me but I can hope I, I hope to be able to just like combine them together and then I did chop up recently this Blackberry Strawberry Ginger Ale from Sassy Girl Roma, and this was really strong. Um, it's mostly the ginger ale with a little bit of blackberry and strawberry. I wish that the blackberry and strawberry were stronger in it, but you can still smell that it's not just ginger ale. It's a fruity ginger ale. And um, I think I would maybe even like add other single notes like oils to this not oils uh melts like just plain blackberry or whatever and my own fruit stuff to melt with it just to make it a little bit more fruity but it was very strong and lasted a long time and I liked it the ginger ale scent itself is really really nice it's like fresh and invigorating and awakening and it's a really nice scent for like when you want to I don't know feel revived and woken up a good morning scent maybe nice and refreshing and then I have the Ryman from Vintage Chic Scents and this is from 2017 it's a little bit older there are two of these like square brick things I'll show you if I can there were three originally now I chopped these up into four I should probably do that but actually you know what so here's the thing. I was torn between whether I wanted to keep this or not. This is like an orange smoothie scent and something. It's basically like a creamy orange scent with some other notes, I think, in it. It is so strong. It's so strong. It is unbelievably strong. I think I had to, like, turn this off. And it could only melt it for like short periods of time throughout its life because it was so strong. It like blew me away. Again, I used a fourth of one of those squares. Um, but it's just only orange. So I think like to my nose, that's what I pick up is like this creamy orange scent. But it's so intense. It's like a level 20 <laughs> creamy orange scent. Um, which isn't bad. But I wanted it to be a little bit more than that. Or like I just found that like, oh, I kind of... You know, it's intense and I'm sick of this just orange scent, which is weird for me because I actually really like creamy orange scents. Um, but I was debating like whether I should de-stash that or not, but it's like, why would you de-stash something that like you like that's really strong? Uh, so I might just mix it with like some other, I don't know, fruity scents to make it into something else or give it a little change. I don't know what I would mix it with though. What would you put that with I was thinking like I could do lavender but I don't I don't know I'm like looking at my drawers right now I don't know what I would do with it maybe like a heavy bakery I don't I have no idea I don't know if it would come off right okay and then I have this mango passion fruit sweet tea which I could put with that because this is also equally strong but I don't really get a lot of that mango passion fruit it's mostly the sweet tea these are like um chunks that are cut up I did 
like um, cut them up a long time ago. They sometimes like stick back together like that. Uh, but this is from 2017. It did do very well. Yeah. This one is like the perfect throw where it's not like headache inducing, super strong in your face. Now this, I'll just pull this out right now. Sweet Tea from Supercharge is like, like skyrocket you to the moon. Super strong, intense. And the plain Sweet Tea that I did melt uh, where are you? I'm not going to be able to find it. It's in my drawer of Rose Girls Sweet Tea. That one alone is the same thing. It is like a punch to your face of tea where I want to add a fruit to it. So I think I remember when I first got this being able to smell a little bit more of the mango passion fruit. So it's unfortunate that that scent faded in my mind or my nose. Um, it doesn't pick it up or it doesn't pick it up as well. But anyway, um, it's good on its own. I think I might want to add fruit to it, like a blackberry or a raspberry, or I could put the raspberry sauce with it. And I think that would be really good because I have her raspberry sauce. I have her strawberry euphoria. That would be really good. So there's endless, um, things I could melt with it. Now I am one that's weird and I like to melt like vendors. So like when I think about melting something with VCS, I want to melt some other VCS wax just because that wax formulation is the same. And I feel like they would melt better together than like something that's really strong paraffin and something that's like a pair of soy or just a soy. I don't think they blend and just mesh really well together. Like when people do blending, that's my own personal opinion. I just, I feel like the science would say that it's not going to work that way. So, um, I would want to melt this with other Rose Girl scents. Luckily I have lots of mini melters and that with a vintage cheek scent scent, which I don't have a lot of. So that's where I am torn. Like, what do I have that I could melt this with? Okay, and then sticking with Rose Girls, I got two bags left to show, and this is Game Over, which is Satsuma, Strawberry, Raspberry, Hurricane, Daiquiri, and Ice Cream. This smelled really good. Really good. Still had a good throw. It's from 2017. Mmm. This one. Okay, and then I have this Escape to Neverland, which I'll show really quickly. Pineapple, Raspberry, Orange, Sherbet, and Vanilla Ice Cream. So they're both, like, fruity ones that have ice cream with them. Tiger. Tiger. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? I gotta pause for a second. Okay, sorry. I had to yell at my cat. Okay, now I'm trying to remember which one of these I liked better because when I melted the first one, I was like, oh, I'm definitely gonna like this one better because it smelled so good. And then I melted the other one. And I'm like, oh no, I definitely like this one better. And now I don't remember which one was which. So the thing is, I'm gonna... I don't really need to talk about these too much, except that they still have a good throw. They smell great. They're like just <sighs> heavenly, fruity, like creamy, fruity blends. Perfect for summer. Um, and I'm going to continue melting these for the month of August just to maybe get through like two or three more pieces of each so that I can, I don't know, feel good that I'm using up my summer scents because I feel like I've hoarded these for a really long time. And I, in my drawer of fruity stuff that I have, I feel like, I mean, I have fruity stuff from Sassy Girl Roma, but that's like a whole other situation there. And, um, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to be a seasonal melter and like use up the older stuff or try the older stuff. Like I said earlier, um, I'm really bad at using my mini melters. I feel like I'll probably eventually be better with using my mini melters when I don't like no longer have like blends. Um, they just get put on the back burner to something else, which is terrible. But, um, yeah, I want to try and I only have one drawer of like mixed vendor fruity scents other than chopped up Bath and Body Works candles. And then like my Glitterati is separate. My Sassy Girl Aroma is separate, but Otherwise, it's just like this one drawer. So it's not insane. I do kind of organize by that type of scent category. But I don't, I'm don't. i not really a huge fruity person. At least I don't feel like I am. So I don't think I should have like a big drawer of that. Where I'm more of a lavender person. And so I want to put my lavender stuff in that bigger drawer. Instead of these two small drawers. And eventually like swap out my fruity stuff into a smaller drawer. Or that type of thing. But anyway. Now I'm just rambling. Thanks so much for watching. This is everything that I have. 
to show you. So n not enough to do like two separate videos or, well, I could have, this is 30 minutes long, but I think it was like an appropriate amount for, um, like one video. I knew that I was going to be concentrating on like a smaller number of things, but really trying to focus on using those ones up. Um, which was basically like me going through these bags and stuff. So, uh, yes, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'd love to know like what your favorite thing was that you melted in July. Um, I think I might ask that in, at the end of every video, like what your favorite thing was that you melted in that month so that I can take notes and, um, add things to like my list of what I would potentially want to purchase when I'm going back to purchasing again in the future. So anyway, um, I don't think I'm going to do a melting basket. I don't know. I did pick out some things I definitely want to use, not like necessarily use up, but use. And a lot of these things will be continue to be used up for the summer months. So, um, that's it. I hope you guys are doing well and having a fun summer and I will talk to you soon. And thanks for watching. Bye.